A few years ago, a beloved entity inside the back rooms seemingly went missing without a trace. They either went to an unknown level or they were wiped out fully by a rival creature. We just had no idea. The entity in question is the party pooper, the blue-faced, frowning humanoids that used to be on levels like 52, but one day they vanished and we had no idea where they went. But today, I have good news, ladies and gents, because we have found them again after all these long years. And in this video, I will be explaining where they went, how we found them, and why it is so nostalgic to have them back. Without any more talking from me, let's get into the explanation, shall we? Now, if you're a fan of the backrooms, you know exactly what I'm talking about here when I mention the Fun War. This is an event that caused the party poopers to disappear and get wiped out to extinction. Or so we thought. Now, I have a full video on this event. It came out in 2021. It's pretty much just talking about the entire thing. Check it out if you want to. But pretty much the party poopers and the party goers had a huge war on September 6th of 2020. The war started when the poopers wanted to break ties with the party goers and they wanted to stop them from having their little cake parties, which of course they weren't having real cake parties like normal people. They were having human cake parties. The war was a disaster and the party goers ended up demolishing the party poopers numbers and seemingly eradicating them into complete and utter extinction. Or so we thought. After the events of the war, no one had seen or heard anything about the party poopers, which genuinely made wanderers pretty sad because they were known for being really nice and humanitarian and helping people out who were lost on level 52. But that brings us to the next part whispers of survival. Additionally, today's video was sponsored by Magic Spoon. I am uh, slightly addicted to this cereal. Uh, Magic Spoon is a high-protein, keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free cereal with a whopping zero grams of sugar added. And it tastes absolutely fantastic. I mean, I, I can't overstate that enough. I remember being a kid and always eating cereal, and then one day in high school just randomly stopping. But Magic Spoon is like cereal reinvented for adults and their inner child. And as someone who's, you know, trying to watch their sugar intake, I'm not trying to bounce off the walls when I make videos, it's pretty dang hard to find a cereal that fits the bill. But Magic Spoon fits perfectly. Like I said, I'm slightly addicted to these, and after trying all these amazing flavors from the variety pack, peanut butter is absolutely my favorite. Magic Spoon is great for a low carb diet and it's also great for other lifestyles as well. Since it's gluten and grain free and then soy and wheat free, it can fit right into a ton of lifestyles. The variety pack comes with fruity, peanut butter, cocoa, and then frosted. And it allows you to try a wide array of flavors especially the peanut butter, it's amazing. And if you wanna grab one of these variety packs for yourself, click the top link in the description below and use code Brugly at checkout for a $5 off discount on any purchase. Or you can go to magicspoon.com slash Brugly to get the $5 off as well. Magic Spoon is so confident that you'll like what you get that they offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So click the top link in the description below or you can scan the QR code on screen now and use code Brugly at checkout out for five dollars off your order of magic spoon thank you to magic spoon for sponsoring this video and for finding me my literal new go-to for breakfast let's get back into the video shall we three years after disappearing a virus began to run rampant inside the back rooms that virus of course is the sfv or the sanguine festivus virus this thing is a nasty sickness that pretty much transforms you into a manic, screaming, yellow, flesh-thirsty zombie, a partygoer. Again, I have a full video on this. If you want to check out the backstory and everything, that is pretty much all you need to know. After the virus began to take hold and sweep across the deeper levels of the back rooms, whispers started spreading of a mysterious group that were hunting down these infected SFV entities. At first, there was no description, no modus operandi, no nothing. Just a group of humans doing the good deed of getting rid of cannibal zombies. That is, until the rumors about their appearance started floating around like wildfire. Someone said they wore blue masks, somebody else said they wore black hoods. 
And finally, someone got a good look at the frown on the front of their mask. Now, many people thought this was all a lie. You know, there's not a chance that they just came back randomly because as far as we knew, they were all massacred on level 52. None of them made it out alive. Well, it turns out it was true. The party poopers are back and they're here to stay. Eventually, people were able to get into contact with these party poopers and get their story, and that is exactly what I'm gonna tell you now. Entity explanation. After the events of the fun war, the remaining party poopers, or party crashers as some call them, escaped far away from the public eye. They opted to stay away from groups and from people and from any organization like Meg and anything pretty much. They kind of wanted to work in the shadows. They went far and deep into levels in the back rooms that most people probably didn't know existed. And because of them hiding and keeping them to themselves, they were able to build their numbers and grow them. And now they have several thousand members. So before the fun war, we really didn't know much about the party poopers, just that they were seemingly, you know, good Samaritans that lived inside this infinite school level, level 52. But this recent rise in the SFV virus brought them out to the light and allowed them to reconnect back to the Wanderers. And once they did that, here's what we know about them now. It turns out that they aren't entities at all. Instead, they're actually a coalition of people that wear blue masks. Now, this isn't too crazy of a revelation because many people actually theorized that they were people already, but now it's confirmed. They've been a collective group inside the back rooms since the early 1900s, and their goal now is to violently eradicate anyone with the SFV virus, which they still call partygoers from their old rivalry with the partygoers. It's just like old times, man. Physically, they're normal-sized humans, and they wear thick layers of dark clothing with a hood on top. And of course, they have their famous blue mask on as well, with a frowny face drawn on. They wear all this to avoid any contact with the SFV virus, and it just so happens that it helps them blend in as well. They seem to become more and more armed with weaponry over the last three years, taking a more aggressive approach to destroying the virus and those infected with it and protecting themselves and others. They have explosives, rudimentary firearms, uh, traps and spears, knives and stuff like that. And since there's literally thousands of them now, it would be pretty scary to make them mad because they claim to have gotten these weapons from an unknown backrooms level, which is pretty scary. And honestly, it makes sense because weapons aren't really a common thing in the backrooms. So the fact that they have them means they've tapped into some random level. With these weapons and numbers, the party poopers sought to wipe out the party goers completely from the backrooms. And not to just pick them off one by one. They, no, they wanted to stop them from the source. Voice crack. Which brought about another war. The Euphoric War. The party poopers devised that the best way to wipe out the party goers was to infiltrate level 338.1, which is a sub-level of level fun. This is a hotbed for party goers, as it's thought to be their spawning location. The party poopers sent over 7,000 of their members here in order to completely stop that virus from spreading. The only problem is, yet again, they were not fully successful. In fact, the poopers ended up losing over 5,000 of their own, but they did end up taking out over 10,000 infected party goers before they left. And because of this loss to their ranks, they had to leave again and go back into the shadows yet again. In sort of a fun war version 2, they went back into the depths to regroup, regather, and to build their numbers up again. Many people credit this one infiltration with saving the entire backrooms from succumbing to the SFV virus, because if the party poopers did not take out these 10,000 infected, there's uh, no telling how much would have spread. Party poopers in the current day and the future. The loss during the euphoric war made the entire coalition a little bit weaker, but not too weak. And in the current day, they still have the exact same goal. To destroy the virus, to eradicate it, and to end every single creature that has been infected with it. They're just doing it with less members. The way they recruit is that they recruit lost wanderers that they run into, or if they ever appear at trading posts or anything like that, they recruit them there too. The party poopers are a loved and appreciated 
group of people by literally all wanderers for what they do and the sacrifices that they made in the euphoric wars and the fun wars. Because like I said, if it wasn't for their role in those wars, there's no telling how much the party goers would have spread inside of the back rooms. Now the party poopers did disappear for several years between these wars and maintain their hidden identity until the virus started to spread more in the recent days. Now it seems as if they put themselves back out into the light and are intermingling with wanderers yet again. But we don't know. I mean, as they've done before, after the battles are over, they might return back to the deepest backrooms levels randomly and hide again for years. At least if they do it again, we'll know that they're likely to come back just like they've done the past two times. I mean, we all thought they were gone, but they aren't now. Honestly, drop a like for the return of the party poopers, everyone. What a good day, man. This is cool. So nostalgic. If you were a fan of the OG backrooms, you definitely have a soft spot for these party poopers and are really glad to see them back. So seriously, drop a like for the return of the party poopers. This is actually a huge W in my opinion. Hope you enjoy it. Go check out the full article in the description if you want to check out all the details. Couldn't fit it all into the video. The full history, uh, chronological order, and stuff is over there. I also like couldn't put it right in the video because it wouldn't have made sense, but I think the video did a pretty good job encapsulating it all. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. It's actually really good to have this entity back. Like my video from two years ago that was on the fun war and the party goers and party papers is actually one of my personal favorite videos that I ever made. So I think it's pretty cool that I could make another one. Check out the description for Discord and Twitter and all that jazz. You know, it's down there. Love y'all very much. Actually, as I'm recording this, I'm 5,000 away from 1 million subs. So I might be at a million by the time you see this. That's crazy. Love y'all so much. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.